You're watching Them Your People. She caught our attention. Them Your People. Hey! Them is your people. Hey, cab drivers, what's up? Ooh. Them Your People. Go to that living room, go to that family room, go to that rascala. Tell them to come on and sit down with you because you are watching now. Them is your people. What do you say, what do you say? It's Mr. Gary, and I want to welcome you, you, and of course you to the show tonight. Listen. I've got to take the pause for the cause. And this is going to start the show tonight. I'm going to start at the top of the show by doing the reality check. And the reality check is this. To my new family at 105.7 The Point, hey, I got to say thank you, thank you, thank you. To all of our new viewers from 105.7 The Point, you all have shown Mr. Gary nothing but love. Listen, you all, I am on on Thursdays, and I come on, say it's 7 o'clock, between the 7 o'clock and the 8 o'clock hour, and we have fun, we have fun. If you've never listened to the show before on 105.7, I want you to listen. I won't even tell you what the show is all about, because you got to listen in, and I guarantee you, your people are going to get an earful. So to the team over there, to Rizzo, to everybody, we're having fun. It's a great show, and I appreciate all the love that you all have shown, Mr. Gary, and all of your people and the fans for tuning in and listening. So if you haven't watched the show, pardon me, if you haven't listened to the show, I need you all to do just that so we can represent. So what do you say? What do you say? We've got a great show planned for you tonight, okay? Okay. Well, where I'm at right now, it is definitely hot. It's the newest, hottest lounge, restaurant. Uh, come to see your friends. What, all, what is it? It's a restaurant lounge. Them your people look at her. She didn't wear all. It's a restaurant and lounge, girl. It's a it's a joint. What's yes, up? Yes. Who do we have with us today? I'm Melanie Stith. Hey, Miss Melanie. How are you? All right, all right, all right. And who do we have with us? Andre Stith. And what high school did you go to? You city. You city in the house, baby. Ain't nothing like your you city people. <laughs> Listen, we have heard all the buzz about the new place. Tell us, what is it and why is it, Melanie? Well, we're a restaurant first, and then on the weekends we turn into a lounge where you can come, have your birthday dinner, mm -hmm. you can stay, mm -hmm. transition over to our lounge side, and have a good time. Okay, now listen, I'm going to ask you this, because you know when they start saying that they're a restaurant, I mean a lounge first, restaurant yeah. first, a lounge second, right? Yeah. Here's what the problem is. That means that they just find up a bunch of chick fish. Is that what y'all doing oh, down no, here? No, 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 <laughs> no. no we, I mean. Them your people, baby. <laughs> we want to make sure. Tell us about the menu. Oh, the menu, we call it American Fusion. That's what we like to call it. We have a little bit of everything from everywhere. We got okay. some um, Italian dishes. We have um, uh, down south dishes. Okay. We have, uh, okay. of course, okay. American dishes, your burgers, your wings. We have your basic stuff. Uh -huh. But then we try to grab, you know, one or two items from mm -hmm. from all other markets. Okay, all right. all right. So, you know, best of everything. And what about desserts? Because, you know, your people love them, some desserts now. Yes, we have a brownie a la mo. We have strawberry shortcake, banana pudding. Baby, she telling on herself. You're, we have the brownie a la mo. <laughs> we got the strawberry shortcake. Listen. Your family mm -hmm. has been in the game of lounges and clubs for years, right? Yeah. Tell everybody who your family is. Don't just say the last name. Tell us what clubs. Um, we're Saints. We were the Palace, the Ambassador originally. Um, what else? Um, what about now? Now, oh, the Loft. Maybe. Yeah, we. Yeah, the Loft. See, studio. hold on a second. Stop. The only reason why he didn't say the loft, because he wants y'all coming down there to his place. I'm going to tell your daddies and your no, uncles we, on your boy. We still out of loft. Yeah, okay. We still out of loft. Well, I know, yeah. but you didn't say it at first. Well, I was getting to it. You I just to want sure. everybody to come here. Yeah, I was working from way back to Kern. <laughs> there you go. What does it mean for you to be a young lady in this business? Because the hours are crazy. Yes. How, do you, how do you manage? Whew. It's a lot of hard mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. um, I thank God for my mom. My mom's there for my children. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of hard work. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we have our little moments where it's hard for me working with my husband, but we overcome it. We've okay, so it what part do you hold down in the business? What I'm do you the do? manager you're the of manager. the marquee, yeah. You're the manager I'm the of the face of the marquee, you're the, Okay, yes. now, so what do you do? I'm behind the scenes. You're she the boss. The yeah, she the boss. And, uh, oh, damn your people, they uh, sure don't know what to say <laughs> on TV. And you know, Goodwill, when they leave her, he's going to be like, now, why you push me out like that? <laughs> so cool, listen. So it's available for what? 
family reunions, it's wedding a, receptions. It's available for family reunions, okay. everything positive. Family, everything. family, we like to bring family reunions in here. We average a family reunion every weekend. That's what's up. Friday. It ain't no church family reunion, is it? Yes, we have those yeah. too. Now y'all see, she didn't put y'all out on blast, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. She said y'all been up here getting turned up yeah. at the church, right? Yes. And when they walk out, what they say? Oh, praise the Lord! Yeah. I just didn't. <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't got no cameras, do y'all? Right. right? Okay, Mother Brown, we see you. Okay, all right. Well, listen, we wish you all nothing but much success. This is what we like to do with all of our people who we interview. When someone comes in and say, I'm your people, them your people, to let you know they've been watching, what y'all gonna do special for the people? When you come in and say, I'm your people, yeah, let's yeah. see. We're gonna give them what? What can we do from? Do y'all better not give our people no glass of water. <laughs> I'm talking about this hot, I know y'all want some water. And say, I'm your people, we gonna give them a free appetizer. Ooh. Yeah, Free we can appetizer. Do that. Is there that what's up? Y'all heard it right here first. When y'all come in, they're going to give y'all an appetizer, a shrimp, and lobster. Just come on in and say I'm your people. Now, now come, don't come in with that mess, with that craziness, okay? <laughs> Listen, you all. Best of luck to you all. You know what? Y'all must be our people. That's what's up. The Rib Shack, St. Louis's official destination for down home cooking at its best. Barbecue and soul food, rib tips, turkey ribs, beef ribs, snoot and tripe, yams, mac and cheese, collard greens, just to name a few. Each and every Monday, it's Rib Tip Monday. $4.99 Rib Tip Sandwich with complimentary potato salad. Sunday kids eat free all day. It's the Rib Shack. Say, what do you say? It's Mr. Gary. And I've got your reality check for you today. The reality check for today is slow those cars down. School has started. You all are speeding, acting like it's still summertime. Now you know good and well, when school starts back, you cannot make it from your home to work at the normally time, the normal time that you do after school starts back. The kiddies have got to get on the bus and off the bus, right? And when you see the big stop sign that goes out, it means stop. It doesn't mean try to hurry up and race and get across because just remember, what if it was your kid that was crossing the street? So your reality check for today is school has started back. Slow down, give them a chance, give them an opportunity to cross the street and give the buses the opportunity to maneuver and to turn and stop the bus like they need to because they've got precious cargo on board. What do you say, what do you say? The school kids are back in school, so why don't we stop for them today, okay? Okay. What do you say? What do you say? It is Mr. Gary, and guess what? I've got a special invitation for you today. I need you to come down and check out your people at Yummies. Oh my God, the food is so delicious. Now, guess what? It's the real deal. I'm talking about homemade greens. I'm talking about homemade dressing, chicken, macaroni and cheese. It's a soul food heaven just waiting for you, you, and of course you. So, what do you say? What do you say? Come on down. Get your eat on at Yummies today. Okay. Ha ha ha. Okay. What do you say, what do you say, it's Mr. Gary, and we're coming to you live at the Festival of Nations. This event is wonderful, it's grown, it's so homegrown, it's St. Louis, it's about all the people coming together to make one big difference and to understand each other. So at the end of the day, we all on the same team, or at least we should be anyway. So what do you say, what do you say, let's go ahead and let's enjoy the Festival of Nations today. Okay, ha ha ha, okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. We are here live at the Festival of Nations, and we've got two different cultures, different people. Our first person is? Uh, uh, Ahmed. Who? Ahmed Namrat. No, wait a minute. You, you got to slow down and say that for the people. All right. uh, we pronounce it together. Ahmed. Ah, ah, wait, wait, wait. I say Ahmed, but you say ah, Ahmed. Ahmed. Ah, now, you pronounce it like it is. You know your mama gave you the name. Say it. Right. Ahmed. Ahmed. Ah. Y'all hear that? Ahmed. And what's your last name? Uh, Namrat. Who? Namrat. And saying on the membrane, what? Nimrod. Nimrod. Yes, sir. Just having fun with you, Ahmed. Uh-huh, okay. What does this mean for you to be out here today with the Festival of Nations? Yeah, actually, I like seeing new culture and new stuff. Uh, new culture. And e everything. we see seen everything is fine, and okay. we like it here. Okay, now, what's your nationality? I'm uh, from uh, Middle East. I'm Arabic. You're Arabic, yes, right? Yes, sir. And so that means that you are out to taste the different food. What are you here doing today? Uh, yeah, we test uh, a lot of different food, and uh -huh. we see a lot of new stuff, like okay. a clothes or a necklace. So okay, everything necklace, and clothes. everything is like a new experience like about a new experience. other other cultures. Well, you know, that's them your people. Your people love a new experience, right? Sure. And guess what? We got another new experience for you today. Who do we have right here with us? Alaji. Alaji. Yes. Now, hi, Mr. Alaji. Is fine. that like Aladdin? Uh, one more time. Aladdin. You know, like Aladdin. No, no, no. Alaji. Oh. 
<laughs> them your people. Now, y'all know what I was saying, getting that, but he said it's a legend. Tell me, first of all, let's look at your garb, right? I want you to explain to the people at home, what do you have on? I see some... Uh, pictures of uh, spiritual people, spiritual leaders. Spiritual leaders. Yeah, from uh, West Africa. Okay, from West Africa. And I have uh, necklaces in leather. They look like a snake. But that's not... But it's not a snake. What that's, is it? That's leather. Leather? Yeah. A leather snake? No, not leather. Snake, just leather. Just leather. real leather. Can I touch it? Yeah, or go ahead. The, guy, the, the God's not going to get me if I no, touch no, no, a snake. No, right. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And so when you wear these, and, and here's the beads, right? The prayer beads. The prayer, be the prayer beads? Yeah. Now prayer tell beads. me right now, what are you praying for? Uh, I pray like uh, there is no other God but God. There's no other God but God. Yeah. Okay. And what else you pray? Uh, give thanks and praises. Give thanks and praises. Yeah. See them your people right there. We want the people to know they need to do what at all times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what they need to do all the time is to be good and... Uh, uh, I set you up. You're supposed to say give thanks and praises. Oh, give thanks and praises. Right, that's right. Now let's say it again. And so the people should do what at all times? Give thanks and praises. That's exactly what it is. Now, Akmai, what, is you, what are you doing? Come back over here. Right. Now this man stood here while you was being interviewed. You looking out. What you looking for? Some more food or some girls? <laughs> Right, and I saw <laughs> both. <laughs> both. <laughs> Listen, you guys talk to me. Come in close together. How important is it for everybody to come together and learn about each other's cultures? What yeah, you know, the name of the festival is Nations. When you hear, na when you hear Nation, mm -hmm. it's about different countries mm -hmm. that attract you. Because you know for sure you're going to be seeing different mm -hmm. cultures. And okay. as a human being, you, there's a big opportunity not opening books, just being concretely in the place and uh, be able to learn about uh, every every country. Right, right, That's right. That's a big opportunity. Okay. Tell me, what did you learn today? W uh, did you use the big opportunity? Yes, sir. And I you did. You, you used it more than just finding some girls, didn't you? I uh, know. We've we seen a lot of different stuff. Where I talked to a lot of different people. I've mm -hmm. seen different stuff, and I like it. And that how it's supposed to be all the time. That's right. Learn from each other. That's and right. Look at the camera tell the people. What, what should they do? Uh, I said, um, we, I learned a lot of stuff today. We've seen a lot of different uh, stuff, different food, different uh, uh -huh. clothes. And uh -huh. I like I like what I say. We have learned all the time from they need each to other. Learn from all the time from the from people. From each other. Okay. okay. And we have to meet each other more and more to okay. uh, be more. Uh, okay. Think, uh, okay. To okay. Each other. Well, I tell you what. We're at the Festival of Nations. We're right down here. We're getting it in. We're having a wonderful time. And I want you all to know these. Now these are your people. Is that right? That's true. All right. Thank you. I've got a real special treat for you today. I'm over at Natalie's in the Central West End for all your special occasions with your family and friends, I want you to know, over at Nally's is where all the fun begins. They've got great food, great ambiance, and great hospitality too. I think if you're real careful, you'll come on down to Nally's because they'll know just what to do. Come on down, they're waiting for you. Tell them your people sent you too. And guess what, when you leave, you'll know that Nally's knew just what to do. Natalie's in the Central West End for you, you, ha 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 ha, and of course you. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. We're at the Festival of Nations right now. And guess what? We ran into your people. This one of our fans. What's your name, man? Tim. Tim, you watch the show? I do watch the show. What do you think of the show, Tim? Um, the show is great. Okay. It's very comical. Very comical, yes. right. Did you ever think in a million years that the show was going to show up right here and see our fans? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Tim, what did you like about the show? What do I like about the show? I like uh, it highlights real people. Real people. Real people. And that's what the show is about. Right. It is the show starring you and your people. Tim, you are people because you well, watch. You. Tell us, what brings you to the festival today? Um, the diversity, the food. The diversity, the food. All the, okay. All the shopping, I all guess. All the shopping. Well, guess what? Speaking of the shopping right here, we got Miss Shop Lady. Miss Shop Lady, what's your name? Rachel. Miss Rachel. Hey, Rachel. And Hi. you are? Zulfa. Who, girl? Zulfa. Now, them your people, they don't have a name for you in a minute. She says she Zutu, Zuke, Zufa. I love it. so pretty. And who is this? That is Mr. Yabwana from Congo DRC, Africa. What? Is, do that mean the man with the purse? Yes. He the man with the purse. Yes. Is that where all the money from the festival went inside your African purse? Yes. Yeah. Let me ask you all something. How important is it for people to come out and support? Now, if you're going to be on TV, you got to talk to us. Oh, my God, what you got right there? A mask. You all tell me, how important is it to have everybody come out and you're able to educate them on Africa? 
very important. Very important. Yeah. Most people... You got to talk up, girl. We can't hear you sounding all nice and pretty. Most people just know Africa as a country, and it's a continent very diverse. Uh -huh. We've had very interesting conversations with a lot of people. Today. Just telling them of the language, the okay. people, the crafts, like okay. such, and just sharing, okay. you know, sharing okay. with them. Did you ask you something? As it talks about the continent of Africa and you all being here, if you could give the people of St. Louis, our viewers, a message, a word from the African community, what would that message be? The message from Africa, you say, we African people, first thing, you are, uh, people, uh, they say, hospitality. Mm -hmm. We are very, very... Hold on one second. Now y'all heard my people, he said hospitality, and that is why I'm the king of hospitality. You know why? Because you said so. Go ahead and go. Yeah, uh, uh, so uh, our culture, you can never, never, never lose our culture. Mm -hmm. When you come in America, you shall talk to our, our kids. Mm -hmm. Africa is Africa, but don't forget our country, don't forget our culture. That's mm -hmm. why you see this mask. When African people, African Americans see it, sometimes they can remember Africa. They, so sometimes what you're saying is sometimes people forget from where they came from. Yeah. Yeah. And you saying the African American people came from Africa. Yeah. So you all don't want us to ever forget Africa and yeah. remember that you have family and friends in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you are here, the African American, we we are same. They come when they see us. So we are very proud to see them. Oh, uh, wow. Very proud. Oh, very proud. Yes. Did y'all hear what he just said? He said the people from Africa are very proud to see you all. And so guess what? Now you know your people, they'll act up sometime. Yeah. So when we know that the eyes are watching us, right, we gotta carry ourselves right, proud, right? Mm -hmm. Because we represent the people from Africa, is that right? Mm -hmm. Now what do you say, what do you say? Y'all heard him say it today, okay? St. Louis, Louis City has representation from all 52 countries in Africa. Oh my God. That's that's wonderful. Okay, and guess oh. what? I bet your people didn't even know it was 52 countries in Africa. I didn't know that there was 52 countries in Africa uh -huh. until recently, but okay. there are 52 countries. Is it 52 countries? Okay. Yeah. Right here, what's your name? My name is uh, Johnson. Jugman. Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Now Johnson. Now y'all know Gabriel, his name ain't no Johnson. That ain't no African name. What's your, how you gonna tell me your name Johnson? Bienga. Bingo. Bingo. What is it? Is it Johnson or is it Bingo? Which is it? Bienga. 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 Yeah. All right. Tell us what your mask represents. I like it because they're so different. <laughs> why, tell, how, why are you acting like he don't understand what the king's saying? He's translating. Okay, let's hear him translate something. He heard me say what's your name and he understood that, right? Bingo. So say something. Translate for me. Uh, he just come from Africa, so it's one week now. So oh, one week. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He's he's just came, well, yeah. Well, welcome to St. Louis, baby. I'm the king of hospitality. Yeah. Let me hit him with the scepter. You have been welcome. Welcome once, welcome twice. You've been welcomed by the king, and don't it feel so nice? We're glad. Who are you, ma'am? I'm Zulfa from Kenya. You're Zulfa from Kenya? Yes. And Kenya is absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. Well, girl, hold on. You had your tans. You ain't said nothing about Kenya or nothing else. Girl, what you know about snapping your finger? To, girl, you you've been here in St. You've been you've been you've been in the United States too long. I love it. When we look at the mask, is this a lady's mask? Is this a man's mask? It's, it's a, lady's. a lady's mask. And what does this represent for the lady's mask? I think a bride. The culture. The okay. Culture. A ritual. Okay. 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 The beauty. Okay. Hey, what do you say? It's Mr. Gary, and I'm hanging out with the people from Africa. So okay, okay. Now guess what? I heard them saying something, and I think they got another one they're going to bring me. Yes. Wait, now what is this one about? <laughs> huh? But the king must. No, I think this Johnny Sacco. We used to have a program that was with Johnny Sacco. This don't look like the king mask. You got the king mask over there with you. Y'all trying to give Mr. Gary not the big pretty mask. I want the big pretty mask. The regal mask, but this is a nice mask too. What is this mask saying? This mask say, you see on the top of the bead. That's a bit, it represents the riches of Africa for mm. more, more, more bits in Africa. In Africa. Mm. The first, mm. it represents our people mm. can dance, can enjoy mm -hmm. when they come in Africa. Okay, yeah. when they come in Africa. Yeah. I tell you what, this is so beautiful, but I tell you something else I see. Miss Pretty Lady, come over here. I'm trying to see these pretty ladies too. What's your all's name? Uh, weaving. Weaving? Yes. What you got, a weave in your hair, girl? Uh, 
Oh, what, what, is, is that your real hair? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. you know sometimes when they come from Africa too, they'll start getting this American stuff. They'll get American hair. Okay, mm -hmm. is yours American hair? No, no. it's in Africa they start. They used to bring me this. That they told you that's where it started in Africa, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well I tell you what, you all have been wonderful. You're great. We appreciate it. If someone wants to come and purchase masks when they're not here, since this is going to be just closing out today, where can they find you? You got a website address or an address of a store? I have my email address, my phone number, that you can contact me. Well, you ain't gave it to me, so how can they contact you? You said you got an email address and a phone number. You got to give it to us. Yeah, my email address is yabuana.yadona at gmail.com. Now y'all know he gonna have to spell that, don't y'all? Yeah. We got. You want me to spell it? You can spell it easy. Y. Okay. Y a b w a n a dot y a d o n a at gmail dot com. Y'all can go with that, but if 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 if, if it was me, the king, I think I stick to the phone number. Give us the phone number again. Phone number again. Three one four. 583-7980. And are you able to make masks if someone has a special request? Can you do a custom-made mask? I can't make the mask, but I have any mask for the special request. You can have it from me. From me. All right. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. We're getting it in with our people today. We're getting it in most of all with our fans today. What do you say? Can I say hi to some friends? <laughs> Them your people. They want to say hi to some friends. And guess what? When you ask the question, you just said hi to your friends. There okay, you go. I guess I did. Have a great day. We appreciate you all. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Okay, one, one more, more thing. thing. Hold so up. You know your people. They'll have one more thing. We just had some education today, right? Everybody that didn't know just learned that there are 52 um, countries in Africa. Right. And knowledge is power, right? Right. And understanding your neighbor, knowing your neighbor is the first step to... Uh -huh. um, uh, to, uh, to put an end to the lie that we know is racism. Uh-huh. And that was it? Well, um... How much TV time do you think you need? I don't know. You, are, you said you didn't even want to talk. You was nervous. Yeah. And you just didn't talk up the whole segment. We're going to hit you with the South I don't talk as much as you. I don't talk as much as you. <laughs> All right, but you, did we get the information that you want them to have? I mean, I could talk on for a long time. And them is your people. Have a great day. We're out. And I've got your hospitality moment for you. It's a simple hospitality moment. It is, you need to make sure, now that school has started back, it's all about the young ones. It's all about them getting what they need to go back to school. So here's the deal. We want you to adopt a student. It doesn't make a difference if it's a kindergarten through five, a middle schooler, if it's a high schooler, or if it's a college student. Just remember, once upon a time you were there. So if you've got some family members who have children that's gone back to school, if you've got friends who have some family members or some children that's gone back to school, or someone that you know needs some extra help for college, why don't you step in and say, hey, listen, let me help you out. You know, sometimes when you're away at college, a handwritten letter, a text means so, so much. If we really say that we're about our young people and we want them to do well, we've got to get in there with them and be there with them and for them. So take time out, show some great hospitality, let them know that you are behind them. And guess what? It does not hurt to send a college student some money every now and then because they need it. You all know what it was like when y'all was up at Mizzou. You know, I got to get a Mizzou to shout out when you were away at college. How wonderful was it when you had someone send you some extra money just to help you get over the hump? Now, you say you want the college students to do well. Well, when they do well, it's because that they are stress-free and it's because that they've got a support system. So what do you say? What do you say? Let's show a student some support today. All right, all right. That's your hospitality moment for the week. What do you say, what do you say? Perfect opportunity for me to make sure that we showcase you, you, and of course you. This is? Manny Johnson. And Manny Johnson. And Manny saw us just interviewing other people, and he came up, and what did you say, Manny? I want to get on them your people. And why you want to get on them your people? Because I'm your people. That's what's up, what's up. Now tell me, who, who are our people? How do we know? How do we know you are people? You know our people, because when they see you, their eyes light up, they got something good to say. That's what's up. And they always on their way somewhere. That's it. And where you on your way to now? Home. Home, yeah. Well, listen, but you were styling the profile and show everybody what you was doing. Oh, so I was trying to show my good side, uh, like this. And I want to give a shout out to Erica Willis, Keith Willis, Lil Keith. Wait, 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 wait. hold on one second. 
How you gonna be giving all these shots out? We trying to interview you about the festival, man. I want to holler at some more of my people. Okay, well let's holler at you because okay. you right now you are people, okay? Okay. So tell me, the festival, yeah. you were one of the workers down here. Yes, yes, we run the Filipino tent. Well, I was the. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking you up. Yes. I'm looking you down. Yes. How, how was you running the Filipino tent? You Filipino? We have Filipinos in our family. Oh, so that's just it. Yes. So when you come down and you say, listen, I need a job, I want to work. They say, well, sir, you got to be a Filipino. And yes. you say what? We have what? Filipinos in our family. What, what the Fili Mixing our blood. Okay, well, tell me, what did the Filipinos eat? Uh, we had uh, tikake today. We had Who? facade. We had kebabs. You had katake. Yes. Who is katake? Is it's that like a, a birthday cake? No, it's a uh, jackfruit and plantains mixed in a spring roll and deep fried. Okay. And see, that's what we want y'all to know. Don't judge the book by its cover. Y'all yes. to know I'm with Mr. Filipino Jack, right? Ah, <laughs> 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 them your people, baby. We got them right down here. Listen. Yes. Tell me, uh -huh. how wonderful is it for people to be able to come together and learn about different cultures and the people? Oh, it's very inspirational. It's very motivational. You got to get down here and see your other side of your people. You don't know who we are in 2013. Don't judge a book by its cover. And on that, that's a wrap. And I want y'all to know that these are your people. And let's say it together, don't what? Don't, don't judge, judge a, a book, book by, by its cover. cover. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. You too, man. All right, that's what's up. Hey, it's Mr. Gary, and I hope you enjoyed the show today. We sure did. We have fun, and we do it for you. This is the only show storing you and your people. We educate, we excite, we engage, and most of all, we try to entertain. We try not to cover any of the negative stuff because this is nothing but about positive and it's about love. But listen, this is what I want you all to do. I want you all to take time to go on the website, ours, at www.themyourpeople.com, or go on to one of the sponsors' website and say, hey, I appreciate it. Because after all, the sponsors is who makes it possible for you, 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 and you to watch the show. So go on the website or go out and support them. Go over to Natalie's for brunch because it's so delicious. Go to Yummy's for uh, breakfast or for lunch or for dinner because they are wonderful. The food is delicious, right? Go over to our sponsors and say, guess what? We appreciate you all, and we're showing our support. We're coming by. We're going to have lunch with you. We're going to have dinner with you. We're going to patronize your business. Go on to our website also, and you can find T-shirts just like this. We've got hats. We've got water bottles. Just another way for you to end up being a part of the Them Your People family. So what do you say? What do you say? We thank you. We thank our sponsors today, and we want you to go out there and have a great week, okay? Ha 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 ha! Okay.